can we use permanent magnet motors like these toy motors, 550 motors, 775 motors as a generator? I have seen a lot of kids using these motors in their projects as generators and some of these motors have made their way into small wind energy projects as well. But is it real? Does it really work? Well, answer to that question is not that simple. When a magnet is moved around a copper coil, the changing magnetic field induces a flow of electrons in the copper coil which we know as electricity. But if we do the reverse, that is, if we pass electricity through the coil, it will create a magnetic field which will attract or repel the magnet depending upon its polarity. This principle is very cleverly organized and engineered to create the DC motor. When we apply electricity to the DC motor based on the design of the motor itself, either the magnet or the coil inside starts spinning and the rotating part is now attached to the spindle and we get the rotational movement of the motor itself. But here is something important that we need to understand. Engineers design motors to be efficient at converting electrical energy into mechanical energy. In other words, it needs to consume the least amount of electricity and produce the maximum mechanical output. But the generator is designed the other way around. It needs to be able to produce maximum amount of electricity while consuming the least amount of mechanical input. Whether that input comes from renewable sources, fossil fuels or even just cranking it by hand. Let us take an example. Let's say this motor runs on 12 volts, consumes 3 amps and rotates at 2000 rpm. So if you rotate this spindle at 2000 rpm, you should be able to get 12 volts on this side. But it does not happen. There are plenty of reasons and some of the reasons could be internal resistance, efficiency limits, friction and electrical losses. So by this point you would have guessed that rotating the spindle by hand is not going to work and you will need a gear system and even then pushing them too hard as a risk of burning the motor out. So in short, you can use these motors in your projects as a proof of concept. But don't expect these motors to solve your electricity crisis. It simply won't be sufficient.